Hello, hope I am audible. So today's our topic of discussion is matrices and retainers. Myself, Dr. Kripa, Senior Lecturer, the Department of Conservative Dentistry and Advantage, Royal Dental College, Challenger. So uh, metrics and retainers are a very important topic as far as uh, proximal restoration is concerned. So what is the matrix? Matrix is defined as a properly contoured piece of metal or other material used to support and give form to the restoration while its placement as well as hardening. So as an introduction, Dentistry does not have a truly satisfactory manufacturer matrix for directly placed restoration. Most matrices are available to profession of some good qualities, but they do not meet all our requisites. The primary function is to restore the contact and quantum. So why do we need a matrix? What will happen if matrix is not there? The gingival floor of a classroom cavity is the most vulnerable area, I'm sorry, a class two cavity is the most vulnerable area where overhang of restorative material will occur. And there is no other way other than to create a artificial temporary wall to control the placement and have the correct contour of restoration without the metrics. So, Apart from class two, again, uh, if there are any extensions of a class, class one also, if there is any extension, if you have a buckle extension or a palatal extension, again, if you are, uh, if there is no, no artificial or a temporary wall, restoration will not stand. So in that case also, a matrix is important. So this is a very important slide as far as an undergraduate is concerned. I commonly ask question, what are all the characteristics that you, requisites that you expect from a good matrix? It should have rigidity. It should help you establish the proper anatomical contour, restoration of the correct proximal contact relation, easy adaptation to the tooth, ability to contour, prevent gingival excess, provide adequate strength to offer resistance when you condense the restoration, especially for amalgam. It should be economical, easy to place as well as remove. Now, what all are the parts of matrix? You have band, which is a piece of metal or a polymeric material available in different dimensions of 0 0.001 to 0 0.002 inches in thickness. Width is 3 by 16, 1 by 4, 5 by 16, and so on. Retainer is a device by which its <clears throat> band can be maintained in its desired position. It is either a mechanical device or you can hold it with some uh, orthodontic wire or a dental flows or even impression compound. So now first we have to go to the classification. They are classified based on the composition of band material as stainless steel, which is the matrix which is used with your Toffelmeyer retainer, ivory one and eight. Copper in copper band, cellulose acetate in cellophane strip, polyacetate in mylar strip. Based on the method of retention, using retainers or you have retainerless systems too, which is your copper band and automatic. Depending upon the preparation, either it is mechanical, readily available, or you'll have to custom make it as the anatomic matrix. According to transparency, you have transparent matrices and non-transparent ones. Transparent for tooth colored restoration for proper curing, non-transparent for others. Based on how much the tooth is encircled, 
beside the circumferential, which means all of the tooth is covered. Sectional means a, only a part of the tooth will be enclosed. Depending on cavity preparation in which they are used, class 1 with buccalaurial lingual extension, as I've explained, we use a Toffelmeyer matrix or an ivory number 1. Class 2, we use matrix band with retainers like your Toffel mare, ivory number one, ivory number eight, self-adjusting sectional matrices, which is either pre conduit or compound supported ones, retainerless system, which is copper band, auto matrix, and T band. If it is a class three, you use S-shaped matrix, plastic matrix strip, which is celluloid and cellophane, mylar strip. Class four, cellophane or celluloid strip, aluminum foil incisal corner matrix, which cannot be used for your tooth colored, transparent crown form, and anatomy matrix. For class five, window matrix, aluminum and copper collar, anatomic matrix, prefabricated transparent cervical matrix. So metallic matrices can either be circumferential or sectional. Sectional comes your palladin, composite strip P, and so on. Circumferential type is the band that encircles the tooth and is secured by the retainer on the buccal or lingual aspect. The band may be straight, curved, or contoured. Advantage is that they can be firmly adapted to the tooth. So these are the various metallic matrices being used. The dimension of a non-contoured band should be available in thickness of 0 0.05 mm, 0 0.038 mm. Contoured ones will differ based on where you use it. So first is about ivory matrix number one retainer. It is uh, used with a stainless steel pan. Here they will encircle only one proximal surface of posterior tooth. This is attached to the retainer with a wedge shaped projection. And there is a screw to adjust at the end of the retainer, which helps adapt to the band to the proximal contour of the prepared tooth. This can be used to restore class 2 cavities, especially when the contact on the unprepared aspect is very tight. So the, here, this is an ivory matrix 1. I think this uh, nowadays uh, students are not at all uh, seeing this thing. So these were used earlier. Now, with the advent of your universal metric system, Toffelmeyer, all these are not used. So, here you can see the sizes available for molars and premolars. Next is ivory number 8, which is a used with a stainless steel band, which encircles the entire crown. The circumference of band can be adjusted by the screw, which is there to get adjusting in the retainer. So here you can use it to restore class 2 cavities on one or both aspects of teeth. This is the retainer number 8. Next is about our universal matrix system, Toffelmeyer, which includes matrix band, retainer and wedge. So this was introduced by B.R. Toffelmeyer. It is widely used for class 2 amalgam. As you should know about the retainer, the parts of retainer include head, locking wise, pointed spindle, small knurled nut, and large knurled nut. Toffel mare is indicated for class 1 with buccal or lingual extension for restoring class 2 of one or both proximal aspect of post. That means for MODO or MOD. Advantage of Toffel Mayer is the ease to use. They are rigid and stable and provide a better contact and contour for an amalgam. Disadvantage is they are not so useful if the 
restoration is very extensive amount and uh, so, so for posterior, posterior composite they are not providing optimal contour so this is how the placement will come finally and we'll be discussing the placement in the later slides first we'll just briefly go through the various matrix system compound matrix it's a custom made one made for each individual case the indication is to restore certain complex situations and uh, mod advantage is it's highly rigid and stable provide adequate access and visibility disadvantage that it is time consuming this is purely handmade for a specific case band is cut to sufficient length so that it wraps around the one third of the facial and lingual surface beyond the prepared proximal aspect contour the band stabilize it with impression compound reinforce facially lingually and occlusally on the occlusal aspect and after restoration you can remove it by removing the impression compound you can see how it is reinforcing modeling compound is placed and the matrix is reinforced to the tooth t band matrix the indication is for class 2 cavities involving one or both of the proximal aspect it is simple economical and easy to apply disadvantage they are not so stable there is a t shaped stainless steel band without a retainer what we do is the long arm of t is bent to surround the tooth circumferentially so that it overlaps the short horizontal arm which is then bent over the long arm to retain that circumferential shape adjusting accordingly supported with compound so t shaped ones are in two sizes large and small you can see how they are getting adapted and forming a circle then there are pre contoured bands these are small ones of made of soft metal selected according to tooth and wedged with flexible metal ring called a bitine ring they need not need any adjustment but the whole assembly will be expensive this is for class 2 amount now regarding the pre contoured sectional matrices and rings for class 2 cavities for both amalgam and <clears throat> composite advantage is you get a correct contour here and uh, adjustments are not so necessary but the whole assembly is expensive and the uh, matrix band may become dented easily especially if the contact is too close preventing an easy insertion so this is the bitine ring the system with sectional matrices copper band matrix for badly broken down teeth for a complex amalgam restoration cases when the cavity is very extensive advantage is an ease of doing it with getting proper contour but it is this will take a lot of time the copper bands are available in cylindrical shape you select it according to the diameter of tooth which is to be restored you heat the band so that it gets softened do it under the plane and immediately will quench it in water so the band will be stretched and shaped with contouring pliers to reproduce the tooth contact and contour and the band is fistuned to the cervical aspect so that there is proper adaptation gingivally and this the occlusal height also the band is seated and the gingival border is crimped inwards to seal off the margin stabilize the with compound and do the restoration following the completion of the restoration the copper band is sectioned and removed so here you can see the cylindrical band you mark the extensions with pencil and do the is tuning and crimping and adapted to the tooth 
Automatic systems were also indicated for complex amalgam restoration, where you need a cuspal buildup and Advantage is the convenience to do the procedure. Disadvantage is, of course, the expense and that the, it's quite difficult to adapt also. So that's why your retainerless matrix system, which has three components, automatrix, automate to tightening device, and shielded nippers. Automatrix bands are av available in three width, narrow one, 3 by 16 inch with a thickness of 0 0.002 inches. Medium 1 fourth inch width, again thickness is the same. And the wide is 5 by 16 inch with the same thickness. So you will select it according to the height of tooth. So this is an automatrix band which is seen below. You can see there is an auto lock loop. Automate to tightening device will adjust that automate loop according to the tooth circumference. And shielded nippers will cut the auto lock loop to separate the band after restoration. So, how to do the placement? We select the band according to the circumference and burnish it. Place it around the tooth, tightening with the tightening device. Place wedge and stabilize it compound. After restoration, removal is done with shielded nippers. Band is separated into two halves and removed in an oblique direction. So you can see how the band is adapted. You tighten it in a clockwise rotation, stabilize it. Then you have clear plastic matrix for tooth color restoration. They are easy to use and economical, but the placement is a bit time consuming. Advantage here is they will allow light transmission available in a cellophane or mylar strips, which is straight, you need to contour it. Convex contoured areas position facing the proximal of tooth to be restored. Band should extend 1 mm beyond gingival and occlusal margin. Use a light transmitting wedge when you restore. Then you have the S shaped bands for class 3 and the distal aspect of canine. This will provide an ideal contour, but disadvantage is it's quite difficult to apply. It's actually a metal matrix which is molded to form an S shape, stabilized with wedges and compound. So you can see the strip matrix being shaped like an S shape with a mirror handle, and how it is positioned across your canine distal aspect for restoring a class 3. Tin foil is used for class 5 with dimensional GIC class I normal. Simple and easy to use, its advantage is not used for composites. So for class 5, class I number, pre-shaped and cut according to the gingival third of the buccal and lingual aspect. The condition is that the band should extend 1 to 2 mm circumferentially beyond the cavity margin. Following restoration, it is peeled off. Then you have the transparent plastic crown form matrices. They are available in various size and contour. Crown form is selected trim to fit 1 mm past the prepared margin. The contact may be thinned as they are thicker than clear matrix. You load the composite in the crown and position it on the tooth and cure it. You get a correct contour and remove the matrix with the sectioning it with the bar. So these are the crown form matrices. You can see how well a composite restoration can be done and the contour can be developed. So this is for a large class 4 and oblique fracture in the anterior tooth. Advantage is the uh, way the good contour is established. Disadvantage is the expense of the thing.
Then you have window matrix for class Y amalgam. Uh, a window is cut in the band, smaller than the outline of cavity. And you do the restoration. Then you have preformed transparent cervical matrix for class 5 with tooth colored restoration. You get good condos and a handle is there to hold the matrix. So it's there is ease of placement and removal, but the whole assembly is expensive. So as far as an undergraduate uh, student is concerned, what you need to know more is about your TOEFL may retainer. So these are the parts of your TOEFL may. There is a head, a locking vise, a pointed spindle, a large learn nut and small knurl nut. The head is the one which accommodates the matrix band, which has a U shape with two slots. The open side of the head should be held facing upwards when the band is inserted. And while positioning the band around the tooth, the slots in the head should be directed gingerly. You have two types of head in Toffel mare. One is straight, the other is angulated. Straight Toffel mare, here the head is straight, which can be positioned only from the buccal side. Contra angle, here the head is angulated, can be placed either from buccal or lingual side. So you can see, see how the U shaped slot should go gingerly. Next is the locking vise, which is a diagonal slot positioned near the head for placing the band in the retainer and positioning it around the tooth. A pointed spindle to adjust the distance between the head and the locking vise, and also to adjust the size of loop of matrix band. Small knurl nut, turning this nut clockwise, tightens the pointed spindle against the band, securing it with the retainer. Anti-clockwise will release it from the locking vise and removal of band from the retainer is possible. Large knurl nut is used to adjust the size of loop of matrix band, either to adapt it tightly against the tooth or to loosen it from the tooth. Now, the standard size of uh, toffle mare is used in adult dentition. Now, in detail regarding the placement. The first, the large knurl nut is turned anti clockwise so that the locking vise will move closer to the end of retainer till it is a one fourth inch from the head. Now, holding this, the small knurl nut is turned counterclockwise till the pointed spindle is free of the slot in the locking vise. Bring the two ends of your metal matrix together to form a loop. The interval edge of the band should have a smaller circumference. Place the band in the slot of locking vise and turn the loop to right or left of the locking vise depending on the quadrant of tooth you need to restore. Adjust the loop circumference. Turn the small nut clockwise to tighten the pointed spindle against the band. Position the band in the retainer such that the slotted side faces gingivally. Secure band by adjusting the large nut turning clockwise to adapt it to the tooth. Check the contour. Varnish the band for a better adaptation and position the wedge. After restoration, now you need to remove the retainer and matrix. First, the small knurl nut is turned counterclockwise to release the pointed spindle from the band. Then the large knurl nut is turned counterclockwise to loosen the band from the retainer. Retainer is freed and removed. Now, after the initial set of your amalgam, you need to disengage the band from the uninvolved proximal side first, followed by removing from the restored side by gently moving it in a buckle and occlusal direction. So, we had a brief discussion here about the 
Netflix system. Now, uh, what as a take home message, what I had to reinforce here is that matrixing is a very important aspect as far as a class two restoration is concerned. Uh, whether it be amalgam or it be composite or anything. So based on the ease of the operator, based on the condition of the tool, you have to select the appropriate metric system and do the restoration such that there is no much uh, disturbance for your contact and contour. So maintaining a proper contact and contour is a very important thing as far as restoration is concerned. If the contact is improper, it can result in lodgement, which can further proceed and affect your periodontium, destroying the surrounding structures. If it is an open contact, if the contact is too much, then also embrasure space will be lacking and the foot will not get cleansed away properly, again, creating certain problems to the supporting structures. Regarding contour also, the proper contour, not only in a posterior, just think about an anterior tooth which you are restored with a composite. If the contour is not proper, there will be foot lodgement lack of deflection, lack of gingival stimulation. All this will affect not only the uh, aesthetics, but also the healthy tissues surrounding your tooth. If the tooth is under contoured, there will be a lot of food lodgement. If it is over contoured, there is lack of space for a cleansing. cleansing and stimulation of the supporting structures. So matricing is a very important aspect for creating a proper contact and contour. So as it is a, a undergraduate topic, we have stressed a lot on your universal retainer system, Toffelmeyer, and the importance of the same in doing an amalgam restoration. But as the era is going towards tooth colored, people want tooth colored restoration. You should also be aware about the various new systems which are available in the market aiming at uh, restoring tooth colored restorations in the better way. And the important one in this comes your sectional metric system. You have uh, different pre contour different sizes of pre contour matrices there, uh, which is uh, suitable to get adapted to molars, to premolars. And to hold them, you have the specialized ring system. Special pliers are available to place it, adapt it, so that you get a very good contour when you do a restoration. Regarding uh, wedges also, that also I'll add on. To create a proper contact and contour, not just matricing, the importance of wedging is also very, very crucial. The role is very crucial. If you lack a proper wedging, that will also be creating a lot of discrepancies in the contact and contour. So tooth separation is also and uh, relate to hand on hand thing when we discuss matricing. Proper wedging is also important, critical when you do a proximal restoration. So, as an undergraduate, you will have a lot of enthusiasm to learn more about the tooth colored restoration. So, try going through a uh, lot of such new, new systems are there. Okay. Uh, you have that crown forms and all. So crown forms are those which were mainly specialized matrices, which was aimed to improve the aesthetic restoration, the field of aesthetics. When you, a patient comes 
with a diastema. Diastema is the spacing between your anterior, upper anterior. You need to uh, contour and make it perfect. You can do it with a composite. Even keeping in mind that there is a good metric system with it. 